hey guys welcome back to my channel so for this video i'm going to be reviewing the shane moisture raw shea butter line um before we get started don't forget to subscribe like and turn on the bell so you're notified whenever i post okay so i'm gonna just start off that the not last video sounds really watery Oh, okay. Um, the last um review that I did, which was the two hair types, one hair line, one hair product line, something like that. Um, the last one I did, I was not able to film or we were in the bathroom because there were two of us trying to wash your hair in a sink. So for this video, I am going to be filming while I use the shampoo and while I use a conditioner. So, and then I'll give my opinion after because I don't really like voiceovers. I feel like it makes my voice sound weird. So, yeah. Here we have the Raw Shea Border Moisture Retention Shampoo. And in this, there is sea kelp and argan oil. Um, let me see what else we need to know here. Eh, that's it. Um, this is the conditioner. This is the deep treatment mask. And this is the moisture tangler. So I know that there is a transitioning milk. I believe that is for this one. Because I tried it while I oh my god. While I was transitioning and it was too heavy for my hair. And I think I gave it away to someone who needed it. I think. Um, but I wanted to use that, but it didn't have it at Ulta. This is everything they had at Ulta. So, yeah, I'm going to go in the shower, and we are going to wash my hair.
Okay, so those products in the shower were amazing. The shampoo was a tad too thin for my liking because then I had to like use more if you guys saw I did it again. Um, the conditioner was amazing. I literally timed myself. I combed my hair through in two minutes and 43 seconds. So it had a lot of slip. And this was how much hair I lost. This is way less than normal. So this line, I believe, is the strengthen line. I'm going to get one. This might have been the wrong one that I got. <laughs> Fortify and restore damaged transitioning hair. Okay, well, let's say it strengthens my hair because this is how much came out. So, yeah, the scent smells like shea butter. Obviously, it's raw shea butter. Um... I would give the scent an 8 out of 10. I would want it to be a tad more, which is really weird because usually like you want scent to be less, but I don't want it to be a tad more because it just smells really good. So I give it an 8. Um, the shampoo, I'm going to give a 7 because it was a little too runny for my liking um, and I had to use a little too much, but it was still good. It still did the job. I felt it cleaning my scalp. Um, the conditioner, I'm definitely giving a 10 out of 10, like, the slip, amazing, the strengthening and not breaking my hair, amazing, um, yeah, conditioner definitely has a 10 out of 10. The leave-in, we're gonna have to see when I, like, when it dries, because, I don't know, I feel like it's a little too thick for a leave-in, like, it's more of a jelly. And, like, I didn't feel like it moisturized my hair when I put it on my hair. So, I guess we're going to have to see with that one. So, yeah. I'll be back when my hair is dry. Alright, guys. I'm back a good four hours later. Because that's how long it took for my hair to dry. And that was, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm really tired. Nice. And I'm really tired. So, my hair is completely dry. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Um, there's frizz in the back here. Like, this is, like, frizzy. I don't know. I'm gonna fluff it out, and then we're gonna see. So, obviously, as always, righteous roots oil. I just realized the camera's really high, so you can't even see when I'm shaking up my hair. So this is the biggest it's going to get for now. So, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't think it's like bad, but it's definitely not the best. Ooh, you cannot see it in this camera. It is very frizzy up here. <sighs> so this is why it's like this up here and it's never like this ever. It's really frizzy up here and back here like a lot I don't know why this camera makes my hair look perfect because it doesn't look like this in person because let me see if I turn around I don't know I don't know if you can see if it looks frizzy or not but it does so yeah, overall, I'll definitely use this again. I just need to use a gel with it. Um, I didn't use a gel just so that I can give you the best um, results. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post.